Hey, I wanted to talk combs today. Um, I have several different combs here that I um, want to show you. Um, a lot of them are pretty old, so um, and I have very specific uses for them. Um, but for my all-purpose, general, everyday um, grooming, this is the one I go to. This is, you always see me with this one in my videos. Um, this one is, is actually for coarse, coarse coats. Sorry. Um, it's got really thick teeth. Um, it's a little bit longer. The teeth from the very edge are about... They're an inch and a half long. Um, I like the the longer ones, the ones that are an inch and a half, because then um, I don't know my fingers don't wrap around as tight when I'm using them. Um, sometimes those like the smaller ones, like this, where there it's an inch long, I can wrap my fingers around and then it digs right into the crease of my finger here. So. That's why I usually stick with the the one and a half inch long comb. This is gen this is an all purpose comb. This one's going to be something that I use every day. Um, this these combs here, like I showed you, these are for lifting um, and scissoring fuller coats. So like top knots, um, you try to get the hair and then you try to lift it out like this. You know, um, sorry. Um, but that's what I use these for. Um, a lot of these ones mainly I use for, um, at the dog shows to spray when I'm spraying the hair up. Um, that's what I use these ones for. This one is a Chris Christen, Chris Christensen comb. Um, this one is an original Liz Paul comb. Um, Liz Paul was a pretty world-renowned groomer um uh, every you know most of the people that have our competitors or have been in the grooming world um know who liz paul is she um had bichons and stuff but she could scissor a dog like no other um and so she developed this comb um from you know the other older style combs this was probably designed in they're early 90s, we'll say. Um, but she designed this comb, and it, it again is to help lift the hair up so they get all of the hair coming out to the top so she can get a very smooth finish. Um, this one is a wider tooth comb. It will help you get down to the skin, um, especially on your longer coated dogs. Again, it is for coarse coats. Um, and then this one, this one's from Number One All Systems. This one I think is from a Resco one. You can see that the tines are just a little bit shorter. I don't use these ones nearly as much as I used to, um, but because they came out with these wonderful ones that actually had a handle on them. Um, so this one's an Oster Poodle Comb, specifically designed by a, a person who used to work for Oster. She raised and showed poodles. Um, but she helped design this comb um, for Oster. It's, uh, so this is very nice. It has a handle. Um, it's going to help you get down to the skin and coat. Um, so this one might be a nice um, need to have along with your, um, you know, two-sided uh, comb. Um, so if you needed to buy combs, these ones would be the two sizes I would kind of recommend a poodle comb and then just a coarse coated, uh, coarse comb um, that will fit your hand however you like to, this one's pretty heavy, so I like that one. So we went to the poodle specialty um, PCA, which was our national poodle specialty in um, Missouri this year. And um, I bought my daughter a kit of combs. They are Utsumi combs. They come in this cool, I bought her this cool little kit, um, little portfolio bag, um, opens it up. It's got one, of, it's got this, and then it has little slots that hold the combs in there. 
and I'm kind of jealous because her combs are better than mine. Um, again, this is an Utsumi, double-sided, probably two inch tines. Oh. So, oh, these are just over one and a half. So, and then this, the one that I have is one and a quarter. Um, it's gonna be, again, longer. Um, get your hands in there, get into the coat. Um, would recommend that one, that size. This one is the finer one that I was kind of telling you about. Um, it's, it's like the tines are shorter. The teeth are shorter, I should say. And also, the, um, they are closer together. The teeth are closer together than this one here. Um, this one would work better for like softer coats, um, softer coated poodles, drop coats, stuff like that. Um, so that would be, this one would be, you know, a nice option for you. Unless you got these other cool things. Just got a plastic one. Um, not used this one yet. Um, and then she's got a couple of other, like, parting combs and stuff like that. So this one is a parting comb. This is one we used. You can get these literally at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, we, I use these a lot, too, when I'm putting rubber bands, like, banding long coats, long coated top knots up. So that is those types of combs. And then these aren't combs, per se. These, this is a mat breaker. Um, and you can see the teeth are kind of serrated here. Um, and these are, it is, these are super sharp. Is they're like razor blades in there. So the idea for these is for it to go underneath the tangle. And then with the serrated edge, you kind of saw the mat out. I don't use these. Um, so much anymore uh, as like not like I used to Let's see here um, yeah. cuz I I have a ripped like you can cut a dog very easily with these things so um, you have to use them wisely and you have to know how to use them in order to buy them. And I've got another kind. This one's a little more safer, but it's still, these are sharp little blades in there. I can't tell you how many times I've cut myself um, trying to get these out of my box. So I have to be very careful on how I put them in my grooming equipment. So those are combs um, for you. I don't, like I said, I don't have a preference and brand. Um, they all work. I said, I have Utsumi, I have Master Groom, I have Oster, I have um, Chris Christensen, All Systems. Um, I don't have a really preference with a brand, just one that will actually do the job for you. So, I um, please like and share and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. And follow me on Facebook at Simplistic Poodle Grooming, um, uh, where I post um, videos and, you know, informational stuff on there too. So, um, thanks for watching.